Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And today with, well, we're with our buddy Hector. So this is the second time we've been with Hector because you have the uh, old Pueblo Brew Tours. Yeah, yeah. And, I forgot uh, about that. Yeah. No, I'm so, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we shot, we went on his, uh, his brew tour and we shot a bunch of cool different places. Yeah. And then COVID hit. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. And so, but that was a few years ago. I think I released a couple of those videos. Yeah, I remember. It was a great time with yeah, you guys. Yeah, that was, that yeah. was a lot and, of fun. And the people who joined us. I, I think you guys are still friends with some of those yeah, people. Yeah, right? we are. 602, Marcus, Marcus and his nice. wife. Nice. Yeah, yeah, they were on there. That's where we met them. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's so cool. That's so cool. But this is great. So now you have the Hoppy Hunt. Yeah. yeah. Bigger thing. <laughs> So from from that, you know, kind of spawned the yeah. idea of this tap room, and really, based on COVID, I had the idea of there's a big kind of untapped market around here. There's definitely housing, and the demographic was just right. And the closest thing to us here is about a 13 to 14 minute drive from here, which is an actual tap house with with the coolers and everything and the draft yeah. beer. So I kind of convinced my wife. I, I dragged her along. I was like a tugboat. Come on, come on, come <laughs> on. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> hi, honey. <laughs> Wish you were here. Yeah, it was a very kind of tumultuous kind of road, getting this thing going with setbacks here and there uh, for a little bit. Marnell wanted to throw in the towel, and, and we, we just kept persevering, persevering, and opened about over a month ago. Oh, nice, nice. And it's an awesome Oh, yeah, place. show me your shirt. Show me your shirt. Everyone loves it. Oh, we'll do another. And then we can do a shot. Yeah. Showing your go, showing your shirt. Go Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game is on right yeah, now. Yeah, I think we're losing. But anyway. Yeah, you can come <laughs> here and watch the games. And they've got wine and beer. Yep. Cider. Oh, yeah. Everything. And you guys have sake in the cooler. Yep, we have sake. I love yeah. sake. Yeah, one of the things we wanted to do is really um, provide something for everybody. So when, when I told Marnell about the idea, she was like very adamant about having a good number of wines because oh, yeah. we've gone to other tap rooms and we love other places and we saw that their wine selection was yeah. and can be a little limited and they're yes. more beer yeah. focused we kind of try to find a balance between beer and wine and it's gone over really really well i mean people sure. have given us that feedback that they're like i'm so glad you have so many wines to choose from usually i go to places and my choices are very limited yeah. so and plus again this area just calls for a little bit more wine nice and how they, many they taps? Have 15 wine taps yeah we have 15 wines different wines by the glass yep including that's of those 15 a champagne and a prosecco um and then i think you were gonna ask how many taps yeah we that's have, what i was have, gonna say Mitchie. we have 20 <laughs> different beers on tap regional local national all craft beers um we have wine uh, wine flights as well as beer flights and then we incorporated a little bit of snacks so we do charcuterie boards we call them adult lunchables Ooh. oh here we go yes <laughs> <laughs> adult lunchables and plus we have popcorn chips and we have these really great pretzels that are made oh, for yeah. us daily yeah we and got the pretzels yeah yeah so we, we try to incorporate but you can bring in food from any of our neighbors or anywhere you'd like i've seen people in here with with food from all over coming oh, in and fantastic. enjoying a nice beer and glass of wine I love yeah because you guys have a nice patio there yeah. yeah in arizona weather it's 70 degrees here yep it's uh you know the beginning of january yep and it's gorgeous and the, yeah it's and absolutely the view out your window is yeah. outstanding yeah. Oh, that it's is. Beautiful. And I think no you'll doubt. fade into like. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, I'll show, yeah. I'll show that. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show the view. I thought of that when I said it. Yeah. And so, can you also grab something out of the cooler? Yeah. And then just, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. We have, you know, you can see it behind us uh, four cooler doors. Uh, we have different types of beer. We kind of run the gambit. Um, got a lot of IPAs because those are very popular right now. Um, and have been for a long time. But we have, uh, and we've started to bring in some non alcoholic stuff. Uh, okay. For especially, you know, dry January. Yeah. But again, our mission was to be an inclusive space to to whether you drink or you don't drink. Yeah. You can come and enjoy a, a, a nice time. Absolutely. Cool. Now, that was something with dry January. We're like, uh, um, here we go. Oh, cheers to dry January. January. <laughs> yeah. It was because, yeah, we, we talked about it uh -huh. like for maybe a second. Both went, nah. Because nah. we do videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. you know, yeah. I, and we have done dry January. Dry January in the past. I can't even say uh, the word. No, no. I can't even it's say the word. It won't dry, dry. Yeah, yeah, it just won't work. <laughs> it won't work for me. Yeah. Oh, I was, so I was going to rib you uh -huh. if you would have said no about opening up because this is the guy here who will stand in line at Fry's and crack oh, yeah. open a beer while oh, he's yeah, waiting in the right. line. That's right. That, that, was, that was actually a disclaimer. That wasn't Fry's. Sorry, Fry's. It was Safeway. 
Oh, it okay. was a Safeway was that was closing its doors, <laughs> and we were waiting in line, and I had beer in the cart, so I cracked one open. What were they going to do? Kick me out? The store's closing anyway. So, <laughs> I, I think of that, and I think it was a good idea. Yeah, yeah it absolutely. definitely was. Definitely was. Yeah. And uh, so the location, though, mm -hmm. it's uh, this is Oro Valley, correct? Yeah, this is Oro Valley. We're located in the Oro Valley Marketplace. Um, it's uh, basically Oracle and Tangerine. I know for some people it's the other side of the world, but um, again, we chose this area just because we saw it was kind of vacant of this kind of concept, and the feedback has been overwhelming. Like, we're so happy, you're two minutes from our house, you're five minutes from our house. We get people from Catalina, Saddlebrook, all coming and, and enjoying themselves. So. That's so yeah. awesome. And so for those of you who are uh, not from Arizona, that is just a little bit north of Tucson. Yep. So it's, um, you know, real close by. It's, yeah. it's not a bad drive. It's a beautiful drive. Yeah, it's beautiful it is. It's, it really it is. is. I mean, we, we, my wife and I live uh, about, call it 10 minutes from here. So it's very convenient for us, too. So, um, but yeah, we enjoy this community, this little enclave out, right outside of Tucson. So, yeah. Very nice. Great, great spot. Yeah. Dogs are welcome. Dogs, I'm just looking at the dogs. Dogs and children. <laughs> dogs and children are welcome, both yeah. on leashes and well behaved. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, all right. And, and potty trained. Yeah, both. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, yeah, like I tell everybody, you come here, please tell your friends. Tell any enemies that you know or still kind of, you know, are against. Yeah, we'll tell, we'll, we'll we'll, tell them all. Any exes you still talk yeah, to? Every, yeah, <laughs> tell, tell them. We don't we'll care. Tell Just, everybody, everybody's yeah, everybody. <laughs> Come on down. Follow them on Instagram. <laughs> yes, the Hoppy Vine OV and also on Facebook yeah, and uh, at thehoppyvineov.com, our website. Yeah. Cool. And something we failed to mention, Hector got busy, so he had to take off to go do stuff. But we want to talk about the $3 mystery beer. So it's $3, and it's the uh, beer tender's choice. Now, it could be anything. It may not even be beer. It could be a seltzer. But maybe? it's guaranteed to have alcohol in it. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then also they have happy hour. What were their happy hour? The hours? happy hour is, I think, 3 to 6. There yeah. you have her. Come check out the Hoppy Vine. It's a good time. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and stay, stay metal. metal.